Good morning. Today I'm going to be talking about my draw house program that I created. So here we uh, create a new object that I called house that we can use to draw the house. And I set the color to blue just because I'm color coordinating everything. So then I draw a rectangle that's 200 by 200. This is going to be the outside of the house. Then I set the color to black and that's going to be for the windows and so I use house.up to uh, take it out of drawing mode because right now it's in drawing mode and I use house.up to take it out of drawing mo mode so I can move it to uh, the uh, coordinate 50, um, 50 and then I do house.down to put it back in drawing mode so I can create a rectangle with it's draw like, rectangle. It's like you're picking up the pencil and then yeah, putting it back down exactly. again. So then, yeah, I drew the rectangle, and then I used house.up again. I moved it and to the spot where the other uh, windows would go, and I drew another window. Now, what is, the, um, what is the significance of the negative argument there for house.move negative 50? Well, that's just the, uh, that's just the coordinate. So when, it, when I drew the rectangle, it drew it from negative 100 to positive 100, mm -hmm. and on the x and the y. So... Okay. And this is just going to the left side of the rectangle. Okay. And so then after I do the second window, I um, did green. I changed the color to green to symbolize the, uh, the door. And then again, I took it out of drawing mode. I moved it to where I wanted the door to be. And I drew a rectangle for the door. And then afterwards, I wanted to draw the door handle. So I moved it. Um, to the right, more to the right of the door, mm -hmm. and a little bit down. And I drew a circle, a very small circle, of, that's 1.5 radius. Mm -hmm. After that, I um, set the color to red for the roof, which is going to be a triangle. So I, I moved it out of drawing mode, I moved it to the top of the house, I put it back into drawing mode, and I drew three lines. That one that would... Um, one that was just straight on the... Uh, this, so this goes to above the house mm -hmm. because it's zero comma fifty. So it goes from the left side to the middle above the house, mm -hmm. fifty uh, units. And then this one went to the uh, to the like to the top of the house. Still, mm -hmm. like I don't know. Like I can sort of explain. Mm -hmm. So it's probably easier to explain this. Mm -hmm. if I So then, what this did was it. What this did was it drew it from here to here, halfway mm -hmm. through the house. Okay. What this did was it drew it from here to here. But how and, does it draw it uh, obliquely like that, as opposed to horizontal or vertical? Because of the coordinates, it goes to the coordinates. So right now, this is at negative one hundred, um, a hundred. So then I did it to zero, comma. 150 mm -hmm. so it's above the house and to the right halfway. okay so it goes back to the so-called origin but 150 yeah, units yeah exactly okay and so in here I just moved it to a hundred comma hundred mm -hmm. and then I moved it back all the way to the end so you get a triangle mm -hmm. and then afterwards I wanted to have a little um, what like a little color oh, coordinate, like a key sort of thing mm -hmm. so then I just moved it more to the right because it goes from negative 100 to positive 100 mm -hmm. the uh, house mm -hmm. so when i put it to 150 it's past the house mm -hmm. and then i set the color to magenta and i drew the string but it was going to be too long and it'd be too uh it'd just be too long for the for the window mm -hmm. so then um i drew part of the string i moved it down and then i drew the rest and that was my program okay great okay let's see the